Hi right, Dave, you all right? Hi Nick, all right, yep, yeah, come on in. Okay, so this is uh, the Dark Tower Mark II, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, a few modifications to this one. Yeah? Slightly better, slightly better roof than the other one. Yeah. Uh, the other one didn't seem to work out very well because of, um, well, we, the heat got, fluctuations we and whatnot, and the, yeah. Yeah, the wood wasn't good, so I made, I made a better roof. This, this is, this is still the same. Yeah. This air vent here. Good. Um, obviously the bees have no uh, no bees or anything else that have access to that because that is um, mesh in the back mesh there, yeah. in there. Um, the the lid I've made slightly different this time the, the um, bee feeder stroke lid um, this has all got breathe the hives breathable through these vents yeah here. the bees can properly that they can regulate yeah. that themselves as That's well it. yeah so this would fit on the normal hive. Yeah. Um, obviously, breathe uh, breathing through there. So we have no. Pa there's no paint on the underside. No, of this, no, that deliberately that. So the, the bees have got no access to chewing um, anything. Yeah. Um, because this is this is ordinary ply. Yeah. Um, right. You've got you've got a couple of options on here with with the feeder system. Um, in the summer, if you don't want it all insulated in the summer, it, this is removable just with the four screws. screws you could yeah. take that out or just leave the centre section out. You could just um, leave that capped like that. The bees have got no access to the inner hive. No. Also, if you wanted in the winter, but you didn't, you, know, you wanted it insulated, but not for, um, feeding. You've then got the option of just dropping that in, which yep. just adds to the insulation, or the actual, which is a standard, the standard, standard feeder, feeder yeah. that just drops in, and you just leave it like that. Perfect, excellent. And I think we also discussed from the last one, this lower box is now lower. Yes. And this is this one solid piece because when we put the uh, in in a hive in, that's going to come up above. That's right. What we found level. last time, we had a separate box on the bottom, which was about 65 mil higher, which meant that um, when when Mick had um, one super and yeah, one, one brood box, brood box, one brood box couldn't yeah. get it, I couldn't get my hive tool now, yeah. exactly. So, so we modi made it slightly different now. Um, so that's what we modified so we, on we the other one, yes. this one. Yeah. yeah, so it's a slightly different height, but everything fits in exactly yep. the same. And uh, what we discussed earlier is that if anyone else wants a hive like this, it's a modular. So if you want to buy one box, it'll be one price. If you want to buy the two, I'd recommend two boxes anyway, just to get going in a roof. Yes. And if you want a specialized inner lid, yes, you can get that as well. So it's up to whoever yes. wants it that uh, can get so it. So if you have a full height box, but you don't need it all year round, these are fitted in the same place. So for instance, if you wanted to remove that section, you could actually just fit that onto there yeah or even just that onto, onto there. there yeah so you've got options either way yeah brilliant i've got some interesting readings now because i've put a thermostat in the one in the garden yeah and what i find is that uh on average on a cold day yeah. i don't know hot day depends but the inner temperature um not the inner hive box but the yeah. inner temperature of this is usually a few degrees higher than the outside air yeah the air, and the, the air uh, gap in between yeah yeah and the moisture is also lower than right yeah outside. so, so, so that, that is working i think so yeah, yeah. i'm quite yeah. happy with that and yeah. the bees are very happy to go in and out of this entrance yes and on the last just like last time we have uh we've done it so that um at, at the moment these are fully open yeah, so the, the bees so you have see they full, can, full access. They can crawl in there, and then yeah. you can block this. Um, a little modification, David. I've been thinking is this cut off this part here? Okay. Because then, yeah. Okay. But cool. Now next, I'll. Uh, yeah, I've just got to make a piece for, for here for because yeah. the bees like to congregate round here. Got a little piece they, there. There'll be a bit of felt in. on the roof. Yeah. Um, and then it's all ready to go. Yeah, it's just basically a landing board, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. They like that. They they hang out there. I've seen on my board <coughs> as well. Well, right? yes, yes. Yeah. Because naturally they don't mind us having a hole in the tree or whatever. But they yeah. do like a little landing board, so that's good. Yes. And I have a. Uh, I do have bees now, which I didn't have last time. Yeah. Good news. So we've got a couple of swarms. One swarm yeah. re is really ready to go into the new box. Now, yes. So. Yeah. So um, I just need to get this finished. <laughs> pretty much. As soon as I can now, it's ready. And to I'll go. set up the camera when I'm putting the yeah. bee box in here, and we'll we'll 
go step by step. Yeah, yeah, new owners ready to move in. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, thanks a lot, David. All right, cheers. Beautiful sunny day here in Hampshire. Last winter I lost all my bees. But you can see there's a lot of activity around me and I've got a bait hive up in the tree there. And I have a swarm moving in. The entrance is a little bit, um, can't quite see the entrance because of the branch in the way, but uh, there's a huge lump of bees underneath and we have all these other bees flying around. I just noticed them now. So I'm um, pretty sure we got a swarm moving in. Very happy about that. And last week I had a swarm in the other hive. We can have a look at it in a sec. And um, this one's going to be a lot easier to move than the other hive. So I'm very excited about it. So we're going to let these girls settle in for a few days. And then one night we're going to take it down and move it over to my mate's Brian's. So they can reorientate and then we're going to come back here in um, June and hopefully move them into the uh, Dark Tower, aka the new beehive, uh, which David made. I know they're not very aggressive right now, but uh, you can't help but feel a little bit uh, in the middle of it when they're flying around like this. So I'm going to be, uh, I'm not going to go all the way up to the entrance, but uh, super happy about this. moved my swarm from the uh, cubicle uh, further up and I've uh, put some stuff to block the entrance. It's not the finest work but uh, there's so many cracks in the wall here I'm just not capable of uh, closing them all up. You can see that's where the uh, swarm was, the swarm box. Um, there's a pretty big amount of bees in there so I'm a bit worried they're going to swarm on me again if I don't get them an extra box and Secondly, I'd like to get them into this box at some point. Um, so yeah, step one is uh, getting them out, moving them down. So the, the entrance has moved just under three feet from uh, where it was. Hopefully that's enough for them to uh, reorientate. You can see they're a bit confused on the top, but they also seem to be going back into the box. So fingers crossed, see how it uh, works out. These bees seems to be attracted to the uh, box. This box has a good history of catching swarms, so uh, good. So, beehive mark two. This is, uh, as you can see, I was um, with David a while ago. Now he's got the uh, felt roof on. Um, that will be a bit better solution than uh, this, as the wood has split a little bit. So that's the new standard. Uh, we have a slightly more sturdy construction on the landing board. And we have reduced this. Um, entrance here so you can both close it and leave the fake openings open and uh, open it up again so uh, a bit more control on the regulation of what can come in and out otherwise it's pretty much the same construction um, it's a bit windy but it's sunny and fairly warm so what I want to do is uh, put that box uh, to the left inside this so while well, I'm putting this hive over on the stand and uh, put the hive inside it. So this is the tunnel, the actual entrance that goes sideways out to the uh, entrance here. So you have your actual in holes on the other side here where the bees come in. And this is the 
dummy entrance where you only have uh, aeration holes. So um, in any case, this will help with the with the air coming into the hive. Whereas this this is the main entrance. So we also leave all the surfaces that the bees are in contact with untreated. So they will uh, propolis or treat that themselves. So when the inner hive comes in here, you're going to have your mesh or just your wood on the bottom. And um, the bees won't be in contact with any of this.
there we go second box up and running it's uh what is it now we're in the middle of july so the wasps are starting to kick in so i'm going to set up a couple of wasp traps because they're hanging around the entrance trying to catch the bees i don't want that um yeah that went pretty well a bit windy today but we managed um yeah new and improved very um I like this very much, it looks great. So the last thing I'm going to do is probably have a mini. They're going to replace the uh, poly hive in the middle. And uh, that will just be a little uh, backup hive uh, for these two main ones. I'm not looking to have too many bees uh, in the garden because I'd like to keep track of what I got. Um, but yeah, it's a good start. And uh, If you're interested in one of these hives, contact David with the contact details below. And uh, I'm sure he can sort you one out. I'm very happy with it so far and uh, next spring we're going to have a uh, update on how they're doing over the summer. Very diligent bee fanning the others in. You can see that the outside temperature around 9 o'clock was 16.3 degrees with a humidity of 66%. The cavity uh, in between the inner hive box and the outer hive box had a temperature of 21.2 degrees and uh, humidity of 57%. So it's got lower humidity and a higher temperature, which uh, I believe would be very beneficial for the bees. So yeah, it's a good indication of what the double box is doing 